Hello, everyone. I'll take a question from you. Idan, you won tournament MVP in both the FIBA U17 World Cup and the FIBA U18 European Championship. And now you've got the Spanish U19 team on the cusp of an undefeated World Cup run. Is there anything the United States and their star player MP can do to slow you down? No. Can you elaborate on that? I have been the best player at the international level since I was 16 years old. You call MP a star, but he hasn't won anything in his real competition. He is overrated. Those are bold words. We are going to win the championship on Friday, and everyone will see that Spain has the best young basketball players in the world. Hey, yo, y'all get a good look at this. MP, you gonna let him talk to you like this? Man, what you want me to do, fight, buddy? <laughs> I mean, I would. What? I mean, guys like our monster, man, they always trying to get under your skin. The last thing you want to do is let them know you're upset. You know what I mean? I guess so. Nah, I don't like it. Cat too young to be that cocky. I don't know, man. He nice. He earned it. But the only way to shut down somebody like that is to stay locked in and win. Everything else is wasted energy. <laughs> you already know, if man. You see, if you say so. Oh. Uh -uh. You guys can fit. You guys more. Let's go, man. Yep. Yep. Have you ever heard the Spanish national anthem? It's beautiful, one of the oldest in the world. You'll hear it tomorrow when they give us the trophy. I think you will like it. Very catchy. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, when you guys get up there, I'll introduce you one by one, then open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, there are reporters from 27 countries in this room. So whatever you say will be heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Got you. No gotcha. yeah. right. Looks like they're ready for you. How are we feeling? Fired up. Fantastic. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to get started with Team USA's press availability. Representing Team USA will be Tim Fielder, Brandon George, and of course, MP. What's Let's start up? with you, Edith. Edith Bauer, Sport Monatlich. I was wondering if you've had a chance to watch Spain's press conference from yesterday, specifically Ivan Almanza's comment that MP is overrated and hasn't won anything against real competition. Yeah, I saw it. Any thoughts? I feel like he sounds silly, like he don't know what he's talking about. If I haven't won against any real competition, how are we undefeated heading into the finals? I'm beating the same teams that he's beating, but for me, I guess it doesn't count. You know, how am I overrated when I'm averaging more points than him? Why is our offense averaging more points than any team in this tournament? Why have I won championships on every level of competition that I've faced? Club, league, state, and now FIBA. Well, in all fairness, you haven't won a FIBA championship yet. He is on the cusp of his second. That's fine. I've been in school the past few years. But I'm here now, though, and I'm the best player in this tournament. The numbers show it, the tapes show it. He can do all that talking that he's doing running his mouth, but I'm gonna let my game do the talking for me. Well, fair enough. Yo, I ain't done talking yet. Please, continue. We're gonna win tomorrow. We're bringing the gold home to the States where it belongs, guaranteed. Let's go, y'all. Good evening, everyone, from Depression, Hungary. It's the FIBA Under-19 World Cup Final. Spain versus the USA in a winner-take-all game. I'm Kevin Harlan, and joined by Greg Anthony and Brent Barry. What a tournament, guys, we have seen so far. And some great games to this point, but this could be the best of them all. And Brent, Spain and the U.S. have been dominant thus far, and this is the title tilt everyone wanted to see. Spain has been a powerhouse. 
And it all starts with their star, Izan Almanza. The 6'10 forward has been nothing short of sensational. But he's proven he's the real deal. I mean, Spain hasn't had to face someone as talented as MP yet, but with the way Almanza and MP were going at it in the presser, neither side seems worried. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Baird. Checking out now how the U.S. will start the game. George and Fielder are the backcourt pair. The leader of this team, MP, he's at the three. Then rounding out the front court, it's Pab at the four and Barton at the five. And to take a look at the starting lineup for Spain, you have Aguirre and Calderon in the backcourt. Out on the wing, it'll be Sabalos. Next to him, the star of the team, Almansa at the four. And Fernandez bringing it all together as the center. Well, since this thing started, this is the matchup everybody anticipated and has been waiting for. These two teams, head and shoulders above the rest. And we're talking winner take all in this showdown. Great idea to get your secondary scores involved early. This helps keep everybody engaged. Yeah, and he's so-so from there, but when he's hitting from deep, it's a big confidence builder. Now, here's Brown. Score of the basket, his second of two attempts. And as you mentioned, both Spain and the U.S. are undefeated coming into the finals. Both a perfect 6-0 through the group stages and the knockout round. Right, this is going to be a beauty. Yeah, and the reality is neither has been challenged thus far, but with the championship on the line, we couldn't have asked for a more perfect matchup. A three ball. Another three for USA. A taste of how competitive MP can be. He wanted to go right back at him. And you know what, Brent? Something that has stood out all tournament long. The leadership role that MP has stepped into. Well, since the opening jump ball, Kevin, this guy has been the alpha dog for the U.S. That says a lot. He sets the tone, and he says what needs to be said. MP is a cool customer from three. Great form from the up-and-coming player. Now, Spain with it. Eight-point game. Here's Almansa. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for USA. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Outside, Aguayo. Here's Almansa. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Uh, that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. It's Brown on the way. From deep. Gets it to go. And MP already into double digits in the first half. He has certainly come out with passion to start this game. All right, Greg. One matchup to watch. Barton and Fernandez going at each other at that center position. Both of those players have huge size and command such a presence. They play so similar and both have a relentless style to attack the paint. Lopez passes to Mendoza. Aguirre with it. That one wide left. George with the ball. He's picked up by Lopez. Basket good. MP's got 16. And what a night to remember for MP. Still so young, this guy could have many nights like this in the future. Down low. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Assisted. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And in terms of prospects, Almanza is as polished as they get. He is game ready on day one. And he's such a fluid finisher, especially for his size. There isn't any weakness to his game gives you everything you could want from that position here's Lopez following the basket by MP here's Lucas off the mark there with the three-point shot and so Brown will bring it up for USA they lead by 11 good once again that makes it eight for nine this game Solid execution by MP. It goes a long way when you master the pick and roll, especially early in your career. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. 
here's Almanza. Oh, he's out. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. And Greg, the way that Aguirre can navigate the floor, he is as elusive as they come. And he has a great sense of how to set his teammates up. So much of Spain's offense comes from Aguirre's ability to create out of thin air. Low pass. It's hauled in by USA. MP inside. Lopez is there. MP outside. In, and his hot hand continues. 10 of 11 from the floor, and looking for more. Now the defense was just all over him, but MP just too strong down there. Here's Almanza. And a miss there on the triple. And it's USA finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Championship game for the under-19s here. Second quarter getting started. And even though, Brent, Almansa isn't in the NBA, he has been at the pro levels in Europe for quite some time. Well, since early in his career, he's been playing against grown men. When you're 16, 17, uh, that, is, that is huge in your experience, in your development. Almanza ready for anything. USA leading by 15. Here's George. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. George has got his first points in this one. Pass to Calderon. Some nice passing here by Spain. And the shot by Almanza. No good. Now USA with it. Here's MP. A shot's good on the assist by George. George has got six assists in the game. Give MP lanes to the rim. He looks to attack. I love his initiative there. Now here's Calderon. Let's the three fly. Spain again can't hit. Well, if you're the USA team, there's one guy outside you have to watch. That is Edgar Calderon. You know, Brent, he has been one of the best outside shooters all tournament long. Can knock down the three with the best of them. Spain trails by 21. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. With the shot. Kept alive. Here's Almansa. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Bad. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Spain making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Now here's George to the inside. And then Brown with the dunk. Oh, man, I love to see that. It'd be elevating. So it's Spain now. What a showing from MP. He's come out and made a statement to Almanza and the rest of Spain. Well, Almanza may be full from eating his words right about now. All he seems to have done is light a fire under MP. And he is torching right now. And the foul called on MP. That'll be his second foul second of the game. And USA making a change here. Foul. Hansen's checked in. Spain making a switch here. Here is Almanza, covered by MP. Now we all know shooting and defense are keys for the international game. That's why Tim Fielder has been so important for the U.S. Well, he does both things at such a high level. A very sticky defender, and you can't sag off of him on drives on the offensive end. This guy helps spread the floor, contributes in a lot of ways. They get it again. 
Lopez, no luck. And so Brown will bring it up for USA. Driving in. Good, MP is playing with a chip on his shoulder. 30-point night for him when his country has needed him the most. Pass to Mendoza. To the paint. Kicks it out to Garcia. Here's Almanza. A wide open look here for Lopez. It's good from long range. Lopez has got six. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. And for all of the concerns and all of the chatter that was out there of whether or not MP could step up for the U.S., those things have been put to bed. And, and a lot of folks viewed this tournament as MP's first real test. Well, he's passed it with flying colors with the performances he's had. So it's Spain now. Following the three-pointer by MP, just four to shoot. It's good! What a cool and collected start from Elmansa. Still the first half, and he's already in double digits for scoring. A nice shot by Brown. We see MP just continue to develop here, nailing those catch-and-shoot chances. That's big. 59 seconds left to play here in the half. Pass to Almansa. It's hauled in by USA. MP right side. He throw line jump shot. And Burton is going to throw it down hard. Well, Barton not shy about throwing his weight around on the glass. Excellent rebound there. And here is Lopez. Six points for him. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of the game. Mendoza's shot is off. Here's Brown. Takes it inside. That one good for two. MP's got 38 points. A whole power move by MP. Could have been an and one there. Here's Almansa. Spain again can't hit. MP getting it done for USA. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of the Under-19 title game with the second half on the way. Now, USA with it. Well, Brent, tonight, no greater example of how global the game of basketball has become. Well, Spain has especially embraced the sport, but all over Europe, basketball is ingrained in the sporting culture. The NBA ecstatic about how things have taken off across the pond. Now, Lopez. To the middle. Here's Mendoza, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Brown with a screen on Aguirre. George passes to Brown, and Brown throws it down. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Here's Mendoza. Following the bucket by USA. Here's Almansa. Rebounded by Hansen. The last time the USA squad won this tournament was in 2021. They went all the way when France was the host. And you can see some of those similarities between that team and this one. Even with their recent success, you know Team USA expects nothing short of a championship. So it's Spain now. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. They set the pick. Lopez, no luck. Lopez has gone two for five tonight. MP deciding where to go with it. Can't connect from short range. 
Here's Almansa, defended by George. Spain again can't hit. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone contributing. Now, here's MP. He's got 44. A good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Aguirre with it. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Almansa. That's in there. Coming off the assist from Aguirre. Aguirre's got four assists now tonight. And here's George. He'll bring it up for USA. Brown. Good. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And the shot by Almansa, no good. In the corner, George with it. Wants to get it to Barton and does. And that one, good. Barton's got six points. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Now, here is Aguirre. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Lopez. Five on the clock. Unloads. Martin with the rebound. Martin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. You know, Brent, all game long, we've seen MP getting what he wants on offense. And I see the smile on your face. You love the way he plays. Clearly outplaying Almanza. And this is exactly what Almanza should have been afraid of. MP is cooking him and looks anything but overrated. And here is Lopez following the three-pointer by MP over Fielder. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. 56 seconds left in the third. From deep, George, another three for USA. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now, here is Aguirre. Inside. Six on the shot clock. Man, Aguirre is looking like one heck of a playmaker here, partly because the defense has to respect that shot. George dishes to Brown. And he banks in the lane. Brown's got 14 points now in the second half. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And it's USA with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll get you back to the action after this break. And we are down to just one more quarter of play between Spain and the U.S. for tonight's under-19 title game. And what an absolutely lovely city hosting this final. Brent, I know you've enjoyed it as much as me. Debrecen, Hungary, our location this evening. And the culture that this city has sitting in the Great Plains of Hungary. Some Spain incredible ball. museums can be found here. What a tremendous experience Spain this has been. Sabalos has checked in for Spain. Spain. Jorge Sabalos. Shot clock at six. Garcia can't get it to go. Now USA with it. And here's MP for three. Another three for USA. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. 
Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And the shot by Omansa, no good. And really, however this game goes, how great is summer basketball? International play always scratching that itch. And Brett, for whatever reason, summer ball hits different. Is, that's especially true for international competition. Spain again can't hit. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Right wing, USA moving the ball around. Garcia against MP. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. What heart by MP going through contact there and converting. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for USA? I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. And Sean Babb for this USA squad is a guy you got to squeeze because he's the glue that keeps them together. And the ability to facilitate and create out of the post or elbow, okay. critical. Babb has great court awareness and helps the U.S. get the looks they want. Campbell kicks to George. A three from MP. That ball, high speed that time from George. Crown's got 60. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now, here is George. Again, USA. Now you look at George, he's finding all the angles out there in the mid-range. Team USA is lucky to have that kind of shot versatility. Outside, Garcia. Pass to Almanza. Wide open look. That shot misses. And so George will bring it up for USA. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Spain substitution. We're in the final Lopez. quarter of play here. Three minutes Aguirre. in. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside, Aguirre. Pass to Almanza. Spain again can't hit. Here's Brown. Yep, that one goes. Brown's got ten points now just in this quarter. Well, MP knows when he gets the ball that close, he's got to attack. Outside, Aguirre. Here's Almansa. Mendoza passes to Lopez. Six to shoot. Shoots over Campbell. Lopez, no luck. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Brown. It's good. MP sending a message to Elmansa as he gets the inside score on him. Here is Aguayan. to Almanza, jacks up a three, cans it from downtown. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now, here's MP. He's tightly guarded, lays it up off the glass. Saw the opportunity to put this away, and you can see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Here is Aguayan. Following the basket by MP. And the shot by Almansa, no good. There's Brown with the three. Rebound by Garcia. Now Spain with it. The try by Lopez. Count that one. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. MP outside. And they can just dribble it out. 
in anticipation of the confetti and celebration. And as the final seconds dwindle down, these players showing emotion. And here it is. The USA gets it done. And they win the under-19 championships with a perfect 7-0 record. Brent, what an incredible tournament for them. Well, if you talk about a complete team, that was this USA group. Dominant on both ends of the floor. And they came together at the right time to cap off this historic run. You said it, Brent. What more can you say about the play and leadership, too, of MP? He was phenomenal all tournament long, and he backed it up with his guarantee that the USA would win it all. Big words from a young man. And, hey, Kevin, it's not bragging if you can back it up. MP put a lot of extra pressure on himself and Team USA, but he knew what they were capable of incredible job of performing under pressure. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Who's overrated now, man? Still you. Uh, come on, you did your thing now. Mm -hmm. Hey, enjoy my anthem, man. Yeah.